Good morning, folks. We've got a peek in on the lithosphere, atmosphere, and a distant star, but we'll begin, as always, with our own. Doesn't look like much here, and so we go to spaceweathernews.com. Even without any sunspots or solar flares, there are features worth noting on the disk, like the coronal holes, the thin plasma filament behind the northern opening, and then two smaller coronal holes behind and south of it. The filament is wide but not very tight or showing much activity, and we also have to monitor those incoming filaments from the limb. Without any sunspots, the filaments are the only eruptive potential. Then we come back to the coronal holes. Their intense solar wind is mostly streaming north of us. The two smaller dark openings a bit south incoming don't have an easy road to Earth either. The coronal magnetic fields have not been opening up for the transequatorial spot, no evidence of it being open. Meanwhile, you can see top left that the one bringing up the rear does indeed have a coronal field opening. We'll have eyes on the solar wind today in case the departing area has reached low. Scientists have found a star almost identical to our own. The only significant difference is its chemical composition is heavier than our sun's. It has less hydrogen and helium compared to the other heavier elements. And they say it behaves similarly to our sun except with a 7.4 year cycle in place of the 11 year sunspot cycle on our sun. An interesting side note is that these scientists believe the sun has a strong climate modulating power, more than the mainstream in general, and they more than hint at it in the article. Supply runs are underway and plans for evacuation are being put in place just in case this Papua New Guinea volcano gets any worse. Thus far, the thought to be a sleep mountain has just put on a visual display of smoke, but they are preparing for a worst case scenario. For those braving the cold in the eastern U.S., bad news. Right after Grayson finally gets out of Canada, the jet stream is going to dip again. And while we won't be too upset about it here out west as our drought gets some relief, back east it's going to get even colder for much of the region. Let's take a quick look at ocean temperatures first. We're going to note the La Nina yellow line of cooler water in the central Pacific. It is set in nicely now. And then let's go find the opposite anomaly. Between Australia and Indonesia is the heat. This energy could spawn a cyclone quickly and at very least represents the energy waiting to unleash the southern monsoons for the latter half of their wet season there. There are only nine days left to reserve your hotel room at the discounted rate for observing the frontier 2018. Time to make plans on hanging out with us in the desert. Website members, your first three deeper looks are already out this year. We've got your fly on the wall podcast coming up in a few hours. 9 a.m. Eastern Time will be on the members' chat page live to hang out. We've got the world on wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.40 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.